Hi. This is a little awkward for me since I don't normally do voice videos, but gotta make one at some point to address why I haven't been active. First of all, I know I'm not quitting YouTube. I just have a bunch of projects that I cannot talk about right now. If you want, I can update you on them sometimes, but yeah, I have a bunch of pro projects I've been working on. I do plan to post on here, don't worry. But yeah, I know it's been a while. What, a year? I haven't been that active. One of the main things is motivation. I haven't had much motivation to do animation. I have gotten better at it, however. But every time I work on it, it takes a long time for me to finish it. I worked on an animation back in March that I was really hoping to release, but I got this first scene sketch done in a month, which is insane. I don't have time for that, especially since I have a job now. And I have other things to do. Like I said, I have a bunch of projects I've been working on. Um, I gotta focus on school and a bunch of other stuff, you know? So the two main reasons is motivation and that I just haven't had time. But like I, I don't know if I've said, I think I've said this already, I'm not sure, sorry, I have bad memory, but I do plan to post, maybe not on here, but I have been active on TikTok. This is very, I don't know if you can tell, but this is very awkward for me to do. I don't, this isn't my thing. But if I would be better than, you know, text video where you have to read it like I usually do. But I do have plans for the future on this channel. I just want to say happy 100 subscribers. Even though it's been a year and a half since I've reached it, I'm still thankful for how many subscribers I have. And I'm deeply sorry I haven't been able to make, you know, a special, like I said, back in January of... No, not January. I think it was around March of 2023. I posted on my Communities tab. Don't think it's there anymore. I'm pretty sure I took it down. But I posted that I will be making a 100 subscriber special, which has not come out. I think I have, like, maybe said in videos since then that I was planning to. But I only posted a few videos last year. Mm, only one of them did kind of well and got, like, 700 views, which is... You know, pretty decent, but yeah, I do plan on continuing to post on this channel. I have been starting to post on my TikTok, which I can link in the description if you wish to see it. I also have a Twitter, which is which should be linked to my to my YouTube, but I will also put it in the description for good measures. You know gotta make sure. So, video. What do I plan to do on this channel? I do have some projects that I told a few people, mostly closer people, but not everyone. First thing is my characters. I planning to make a video about my character and their history of which ones ornate, which ones originated from where, who was the first, and you're going to be able to see my old drawings all the way back from maybe 2016. I don't know how many from then I do, but mostly 2019 before I started posting on here. Or at least before I started posting animations on here. Any, you can't find any of those videos now. You know, I wish I still had them. Whoops. I wish I still had them. Though to see how far I've gotten. I still have my first animation up, I believe, which is a flame animation. And I... Looking back at that, I'm proud of how I got here. My second video idea is not related to any sort of animation or character I've showcased on here. If you've been around long enough, you would know I used to post gaming videos. So, what I plan to do is I have an alt account on my Roblox. And you may have saw the poll that I posted back in January. Yes, I know January. I'm working on it. Don't worry. But I made a poll saying, should I go to my old games, react to them, maybe with some friends? I have a few ideas on who I will be doing it with. Of course, if any of my friends are watching this and want volunteers, you can 
volunteer and I'll join you in a few games and we can be on call and you can record your reaction. But I've been through some of the games just to make sure you know there wasn't anything weird in them. And I do still plan to make that video. Again, not sure when. Won't be making promises because I am not good at keeping promises when it comes to stuff involving my motivation and time. But those are my two ideas I've had so far. I do have some other stuff. If Again, if you've been in this channel, you may have noticed that I sometimes post about making games. I am currently in the process of making two games. One, which I cannot talk about because it is barely started, but I can tell you a little bit about it since I am technically one of the owners of this game. It is going to be a Victorian-styled horror game based around witchery. That is all I can say, as me and my friend have not spoken about it in a while, so I don't know if we are still doing it, but I'm very... I would be happy to continue it. And then there's another one, which it has a Discord open, which I can link in the description. We are willing to have more people in it. We are wishing to have more people in the Discord. So if you're interested, you can join. This game is a game called Liminal. It is a horror game where this is off of my memory. You experience, everyone experiences it in their own way. Like the name implies, it's going to be a bunch of liminal spaces or liminal-esque spaces and you're going to roam around each level. I have been working on this game, mainly the lobby, but I have been working on it. I Sorry, I am the creator of two of the characters in the lobby, which some of you may recognize. I've shown some of you guys concept art back in 2023, 20, somewhere in maybe June to August, somewhere around there. But two of those characters I have made, it is my own species f specifically for the game. I am happy to make them, and I am happy to be a part of this game, but, like I said, these two games both aren't really close. I wouldn't say they're close to done. One of them is closer, but the other one isn't, so I can't talk about them much, and I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be talking about them. Well, the one I'm co-owning, I know, but the one with the Discord, I'm not completely sure, but, you know, I'll link, I'll add, I'll, if this part gets cut out, then it gets cut out, so... Yeah, I'm working on two games. On top of that, I have been learning how to 3D model, which is part of what I've been needing to do for the game. I've been needing to 3D model the characters, and then figure out how to rig them, add them into the game, and yada yada yada, you know. I think you get it. So, my main parts in this game is I am a modeler, I do some of the scripting, I'm not the best at scripting, most of it is modified scripts, and I do 3D modeling and atmosphere. I sometimes make ideas and pitch it to the owner, but not often at all. But again, if you would like to join, it is in the description of this video, or I am hoping to put it in the description of this video. It would be nice for some of you guys to join. I know some of you guys like my animations, one of the characters. Or, well, yeah, one of the characters is heavily inspired off of my old main character that I used to use in all my animations. You guys know them, basically Ink Sans with ears and a tail and all that, which I modified to be its own character, inspired off of that character, which I've named Skittle. Skittle has had a major upgrade, trust me, a major upgrade since then. They don't look, well, they look similar. But nowhere close. If you've seen my older videos before, maybe I deleted some of them, you would notice that she was constantly changing her shape. Everything about her, every animation or two, would be different. Something about her would be different. But I like how her design has turned out so far. I'm happy with it. And I have a new main character, Persona, which you may see on my TikTok. Their name is Net. Inspired off of the character that I used in my last animations on here with the mask. Like I said, I have plans for this channel, obviously. From what I've post like, told you, I don't know how often I will post. I don't know how long it might will take. I'm a very on and off person when it comes to this channel, especially since I have a hard time finishing things and like right now I have a lot of things 
packed up. I got a lot of things to do. I got commissions. I got, you know, school. I got all of that. I do plan to have do things on this channel. There are other channels that I have that I have been posting on. Maybe not recently. Maybe it's not my channel, but I have relations to it. Or you should just go check it out and support them. But there are other channels. The first one is a project me and my friends started back in 2021, I think. 2021, 2022, somewhere around there. It has a very silly ma name. I'll get to it. It's called Jaeger P, no spaces. And if you've watched Attack on Titan, you know exactly how to spell the first part. We wanted to make that channel for fun. And we did. The channel has also not been active in a year since we've both been very busy doing our own things. But the channel consists of edited videos, either popular ones or non-popular ones that we just decided to edit ourselves. We don't try to make them, well, sometimes we try to make them funny. One of or two of them are more try to be scary, but it's just a good way for us to practice our editing skills or my editing skills. They help me find videos, I edit them, well, and they watch me edit them so we can both approve of what we've done. The second channel is not owned by me, but I do have projects that I will be working on that will be posted on their channel, hopefully. The channel name is Silius Maximus and I will also be linking them in the description. If you look in the community posts, you will see a coming soon thing, a drawing. I have relations to that. I cannot talk about it. I do not know when I will be able to talk about it, but that is all I can say from that image. I'm the one who made that teaser. I'm proud of how it turned out. And whenever the project comes out, I hope you enjoy it since even though it hasn't really started yet, it has been fun doing the things that I've worked on for it. That's for sure. I do have a few other channels that I can talk about. One which has not been released yet. This channel will be a co-owned channel between me and one of my closer friends, and we will be doing PNG tubing. I know people don't normally, you know, talk about stuff like this and all of that, you know, before they become a PNG tuber, but I am. Me and my friend have planned since January. We have been working on our characters for a long time, and I mean a while, but we have not had, we have not drawn them yet at all. That's why it hasn't been launched or anything, but we do, we have been planning it, and we do have a list of in mainly indie horror games. Maybe they were popular in a while ago. Or just, you know, underappreciated. Some of them aren't indie. Some of them aren't unpopular. Some of them are very popular. We gotta have a mix. So then, you know, we can, you know, have an audience that's interested. But I plan to see some of you there once it's done. Once we have our, what people would call a debut, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. But we hope to see you there. We have not finalized the name of it yet, but once I do, once we do, and if I have another update like this, uh, I will most likely tell you what it is because this again, it's a big project me that me and them have been working on, just like everything else. And I want people to see it, especially you guys, my 133 subscribers, which I never thought I would get to in the past four and a half years. I'm still in shock that I've gotten this many subscribers, especially from when I posted the god animation. You guys are just awesome. On to the next topic. There is a game that me and my friend, same person I'm doing the PNG tuning with, have been obsessed with. It is a small game who, that has been getting recently popular called Super Market Together. You can find it on Steam. It's free. And there are weekly updates, sometimes even daily updates. It's a game where you just have fun in a supermarket with your friends. You can have up to five people, I think. And you can whack people with brooms. The game's a little glitchy since it's 
new. It only came out end of August, maybe a little longer than that. I don't remember how long it's been since I first played it, but I know it's been longer than a month. But it's a really fun game if you have friends, but why I'm mentioning this is because me and them and their sister, hi if you're watching this, I don't know if you watch my videos anymore, but have been planning to make a Tumblr on it. A Tumblr with our own characters, own things. Based off of this game, down to how I wish it would look, maybe not with the tail, but here it, what it looks like. My friend gave me the idea of them being addicted to cigarettes and coffee, of course. But my character is going to be working, hitting people with brooms. Or the order, in the game you can order products during the, um, when your supermarkets open and close. So I will be managing products in there. Again, it's not going to be exactly like the game. We're planning the plate for the store to be more like a Walmart. So then we can, you know, have more things happen. There's that. On to some older subjects. Like the Devil and Leaf blog. If any of you guys remember that. Was not that popular. I'm definitely not doing it. I don't think anyone wants to see it. It was originally supposed to be voice acted. But of course I never got to that. My voice well, when I made those was definitely too high pitch to voice devil. I'm pretty sure it's still too high pitched to voice devil, especially since he has a deeper voice. The other voice actor definitely could have voiced Leaf, but we never got the chance to. Kinda wish I did, but also, you know, I'm starting another kind of blog thing with the supermarket together. That's why I'm bringing this up, so maybe if you guys are interested, I can bring the Devil and Leaf blog back. They've had, I'm, th I'm trying to redesign them currently as, you know, they look like a Mary Sue, along with some of the other characters that weren't mentioned, or maybe you saw in an animation, for example, the Devil and Leaf, no, yeah, I think it's Devil and Leaf's birthday, or it's just Leaf's birthday, I don't remember. I remember Leaf was mainly there, but you may have saw a character with a red and blue eye. That's Spade Fade, as me and my friend would call her, or him. Don't remember their gender, but they're getting a redesign, or in the middle of getting a redesign, because didn't like their old design. They're going to be more of like an archangel-looking character, maybe? Not completely sure yet. Playing around, you know, you gotta do that. <sighs> but, you know, do what you gotta do. You gotta sacrifice some projects for new ones. Again, for the, I think the third time, if you guys want the Devil Leaf Plot back, I will bring it back. I will start up the Twitter again, and I will bring it back, with, of course, major redesigns. Maybe I won't do it on Twitter, maybe I'll do it on Tumblr, since that's where most blogs are done, but I'll have to ask my friend to do that. Overall, I've been good, better than, you know, when I first started posting, where I had, like, a lot of, uh, of course I didn't talk about this, but I had a lot of issues. Been getting help, trying to get help. At least, hopefully, better, no longer having sleeping problems, no longer overworking myself, haven't been staying up till like 5 in the morning animating like I used to. All's been good. There's some people on the channel you won't see anymore. I had an old video of... Or, well, maybe I'll bring them back. Really depends. In an old video, I had a friend in there who I called Anister. We had a... I didn't. My other friend had a situation with her, and they wanted to feel more comfortable by departing. So we stopped talking to her for around two years. I have talked to her since then, starting two years ago, since... It was two years we didn't talk, and then I started two, two years again. She's been good. She didn't even know what she did wrong. I don't know what happened. We don't talk much. Maybe, maybe they'll come back. They don't go by Anister anymore. They go by Baron. 
I might post her channel in the description. It really depends. There are also some other people that won't be on this channel anymore. Of course, from personal reasons. Miss DN, no personal reasons there. We just don't talk much anymore. Last collab we did was a few years ago. Took it down, you can't find it anymore. Thankfully, I didn't really like it. Also had my gotcha phase. Ugh. Yeesh. But maybe I'll bring some new people. You know, gotta, gotta just continue on. Bring people, let people leave. There's been some animators who have commented on my channel. If you guys are willing to do a collab, maybe, maybe you'll have to get in contact with me. Maybe I'll do a collab with you guys, or you can pop in. There's just one that I used to look up to. She commented on my channel. I checked her out. I liked it. I actually don't know if it's just she or he. I'm sorry if I, you know. And if anyone's willing to do that, I would be glad to. Of course, it really, really depends on my motivation. And yours, of course. I am not going to pay anyone. I do not want to be paid. If it's a no, it's a no. I may accept commissions. I do do commissions. If you check my Twitter, I do painting commissions now. But I also do drawing and animation commissions. I just don't speak about it often since they take more... They have. I have less motivation to do them. I prefer something physical. You can also ask me to do stickers. Maybe. I don't know if I have any stickers left, but I do do stickers. Any sort of stuff like that. Sorry if this is kind of like a plug or whatever. Just want to let you guys know. But everything's been good. Better than when I did animation. I hope to continue this channel. May not post as, like I said, often, but I have plans. If you wish to be updated on anything, I have three places currently you can be updated on. Anything, like, well, anything involving the projects. You can go to Silius Maximus, which is someone close to me who I'm helping out with things, like I said earlier. My Twitter, I some occasionally post stuff on, updates and all that. You can go to my TikTok, I sometimes post projects on that, most of the time they're not done. You can also go to the Liminal Discord. We have an updates channel. Not active at all, I will say that. But, again, support is appreciated. Anything helps. Don't know if I have anything else to say. Don't know what I can say. This has been really awkward. I've just been throwing it off the top of my head. I don't have a script or anything. But the videos I do have coming up, some of them involve script, like the, you know, character the my OC one my Roblox my Roblox one might really depends on how everything goes but I hope to post something hopefully before the end of the year something at least if not I probably have posted something on my TikTok maybe on the alternate channels I have a lot of stuff I'm doing I probably didn't even mention it all but hopefully one day I'm posting every few months again Maybe not animations. I do plan to still try and do animation. I've been more doing 3D animation than 2D recently because of the games, but I hope you can still enjoy it. If I'm allowed, you can check shorts or my community pages. I might post teasers about the projects I'm working on with other people. Other than that, the only teasers posted will be about my own works my own projects that I hopefully can post out. And I do have an animation that I'm hoping to post out. I really want to work on my own show with one of my main characters named Noxie, but I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that because I wanna do it in a more simpler animation than I normally do. Cause if you look at my animation, it's not organized at all. Sometimes things change, I've fixed Things, you know, morphing. If you check the god animation, there's some parts where you can see things morphing or changing. I've gotten better at not doing that. I've been practicing a lot, but I haven't posted any, really, animations. I've been trying out new styles. Gotta, you know, see what my thing is. But I think it's, with animation, it's gonna be mainly 2D. On another note, this channel will be mainly used for my things. 
and occasionally teasers to other projects that I'm related to if I'm allowed to post it on here. I have a lot to say, but I don't think I can say it all. I can't remember it all. I should have probably written it down. But it feels, you know, it feels nice talking to the microphone. I also don't have much time to do this, the recording part, since this is the only time I have my room empty with no one else in it. And I know I don't have a good microphone either. I do have a good mic. I just don't have it set up and I can't find it. So, I think this is where I'm going to end it off. I don't have much to, s like, anything else to say. If I think of anything else, I will probably make another update video. I just, you know, need to post something this year. I don't want to go another few months without posting. You know, I like having creator's adrenaline, even though, you know, for me it's not the best and I normally tend to crash out not in the best way. That's another reason why I haven't been posting. I don't want to mentally harm myself with what I call creator's adrenaline, which is the need to constantly post and then feel that rush in me from seeing people viewing my video and all that, but then also having the chance to crash out and just have a period of feeling sad. That's why I am trying my best not to expect that on this. I don't want to have creators rush. It really isn't good for me, but I will still try to post without, you know, harming myself in that way. This will also probably be, that's also probably why I will only post, or well, if I post, try to post recently, it will be every few months. It will, I don't think I, I I'm, don't think I'll ever post once every month or every week. If I do, it's because I think I'm confident in myself that I won't have it, the creator's adrenaline, or I've given in to the creator's adrenaline. But if you see me randomly having a period of not posting, it could be because I have a bunch of projects I'm working on, because I have had a crash, it's a multitude of things. But I am not abandoning this channel. I do not plan to abandon this channel. At least not yet. I hopefully want to, you know, do this for more, do this longer. I enjoy making videos, even if this isn't my thing. Like speaking to the camera, all of that. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, and just continue on. That's all I can say. My thing is, though, when I go to college. I don't know if I'll be able to post often because of my college, but I will still try. But again, no promises. I cannot keep promises when it comes to motivation. Cannot keep promises when it comes to my works. But things with projects with like other people, I will still try my best to do it, but it may take a while. That's why I'm saying no promises, especially to anyone that wishes to collaborate with me. Which I'm still down, which I am down to do, like I said before. But you know, it really depends. I know I keep saying this, but I think I'm gonna wrap it up. Don't have anything else I could say off the top of my head. I just keep, like I said, no script. I'm just rambling. This is this whole video. This whole video is rambling with pictures and my little PNG in the corner. Hopefully, if I get to that. But I hope you guys enjoy whatever I plan to post on here. There's no significant order. There's no schedule. Of course, I know if I do get a bunch of subscribers, I definitely won't be able to post much to make money. So everything here for fun, for my practice, for what I want to do, for my career. My careers, I should say, since I have multiple. I'm not going to take up too much more of your time. And honestly, we'll see where the wind, ta wind takes us. We'll steer, we'll steer, steer the sail, depending on you know, the wind, or however that saying is. I don't remember, but we'll see. For now, this is goodbye. Until next time. But I am not leaving.